Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. All the info, none of the fluff, so let's get to it. A user online asked, is there a way to quickly get an audio file from a project into Reaverb as an impulse response? Right now, I'm gluing the item and then moving it to my impulse response folder and locating it from there, but I would love to have a one-button solution to just make an audio item into an impulse and stick it in Reaverb. Great question. For people who don't know, in Reaverb, you can add your own impulse responses. You can browse for a directory, which for me is a folder called impulse responses, where I have a bunch of impulse responses. And then when you have a folder uploaded there, you can just go through and find anything that you want so if you add any audio file to this folder you can add it as an impulse response in reverb so i got this file right here called new ir i want to add it to my impulse response folder so i can select it i can run this action it opens two things i drag from here to here and now if i go to the reverb folder i just navigate down to n and my new ir is there so yeah not exactly a one-click solution but pretty close and now i'll show you what the custom action is you need sws for this to work obviously you open selected items path in explorer finder and that's this item and then you open render path which is from auto render now if you don't use auto render you can use it for this purpose otherwise it's a very useful tool so in auto render i can set my global preferences for any folder i want so i have a default render path like that once it's in your global preferences it will just be the same for every new project and then there's this option called open render path which i run and i get here so essentially the custom action selects both these folders you can also see your item item is highlighted so if you have a long list of items that wouldn't be too complicated to look for it and then i just drag it'll be in reverb so yeah i hope this is at least a little helpful maybe you won't have to navigate through your folders overall also if anybody knows a better solution to this just let me know in the comments and i'll get the word out i'm just learning scripting so i'm not the correct person for this but you should definitely go on reaper forums and ask for this and this is the great thing about reaper people help each other out and that's what i love about reaper on top of being a great dog so i hope this was somewhat helpful and if not i'm sorry and that's it for today. See everybody tomorrow. Bye.